Peggy 18. Hey everyone, Capcom UK Community Manager Neil Gortz here, and on this episode of Resident Evil Recollections, we're going to take a look at Raid Mode in Revelations 2. Revelations veterans and anyone who's played a Mercenaries mode should get the gist of what Raid Mode is about, but just in case you're new to the party, let me walk you through it. You wake up as a swirling matrix type being and you're informed by the overseer that you're her guinea pig in her new combat simulator, for reasons. The aim of the game is to survive increasingly tougher waves of baddies from Revelations 2 and Resident Evil's back catalogue. That's right, it's not just the rank and file of Revelations 2, there are plenty of unpleasant blasts from the past waiting to ruin your day. Hopefully you remember where their weak spots are. The first thing you're going to need is a character to play as. Currently, I'm championing Barry, Commissar Coat Barry to be exact. As a gun nut, Barry's weapon slots unlock early, making him a kind of shooty Swiss Army penknife. And using the guns he picks up throughout raid mode stages, I've equipped him to handle any situation. Pistol to pick off the little guys, machine gun when things get serious, and shotgun and magnum when boss creatures are here. Eventually, as you rank up, you'll need to look for new weapons to use, as they'll be too low power to make an impact. Though, over at the workbench, you can add parts to the weapon slots, powering them up even further. Barry's machine gun, for example, not only has homing ammo that compensates for my ability not to shoot straight, but also sets enemies on fire. His pistol is tuned up with an area effect that electrocutes targets and those close to them. This is a level 10 gun which I'm able to use with other characters that I'm building up. My reserve characters, by the way, are Hunk and Gina, and here you can see how the characters differ. They all have their preferred combat styles, but whilst Barry is a good all-rounder, Hunk specialises on stealth attacks, turning himself invisible and taking unaware baddies out from the all-concealing shadows. Gina, sister of Revelation's Rachel, is a bit more outlandish. Her special ability is to cause damage through gesticulating, literally dancing her enemies to death. So as you can see, Raid Mode has plenty of time to be outlandish and fun. So it's not that complicated. Just blast your way through the levels, pick up new loot to equip your characters with, and punch a gold medallion at the end. Each level has five medallions to be won. These are the Clear Medallion, you cleared the mission, Challenge Medallion, you cleared the mission at or below the recommended level, and this is something that you can tweak to make it harder or easier so you're always challenged. No Herb Medallion, this is a biggie, that means that you cleared the mission without using a herb to heal yourself. Don't use a herb during the mission or you'll miss out. Try equipping your character with a skill that promotes self-healing or use a lifestealer part on one of your guns and that reclaims health as you cause damage to the baddies. There's the genocide medal, basically kill all the baddies. That should be no problem to a stone cold killer like you. Just be sure to keep an eye on the counter as there'll be a few that'll spawn once you've got access to the gold medal to punch. Get all four and you get the completion medal which counts to unlocking new characters. That's pretty much all you need to know. Make sure to evaluate and sell on guns and parts you don't need, you only have so much space. Housekeeping is important, people. Other than that, just have fun, shoot things and have a blast. Thanks for watching, please remember to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you next time.